what, 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 what it do? What is going on, guys? It's your boy God Hand. I'm back again, bringing you some more Black Ops 2 because I know what you like. Don't worry, no more disturbing clips this time. I'm <laughs> that was, maybe I'll do that in the future, but for now, you're safe. You're safe. Uh, yeah, so I'll bring you some Black Ops 2, some, uh, some, uh, what, what is this, uh, freaking Demolition. Why do, why do people play Search and Destroy when you can play Demolition? Search and Destroy is, like, it's so boring to me. My god, one life, one life, uh, which wouldn't be so bad, but everybody camps, nobody moves. I mean, the game is broken with snipers and, you know, the camera angles are crazy. You guys seen plenty of evidence of that, I don't need to supply anymore. Oh my gosh, Demolition is the same thing, only, you know, you respawn, and it's a faster game, faster, you know, paced game. I, I don't get it, but whatever. If somebody could explain to me what is the appeal of Session Destroy, that would be great, because <laughs> I don't get it. I understand, like, it's a little bit more intense, but like I said, if nobody moves, it's, you know, it, it just, it sucks. Anyway, um, so yeah, I hope you guys got to play Destiny, because that was amazing, that was so much fun. Uh, if you guys don't know, which I'm... I <laughs> can't imagine you don't. There was a, there was a beta out. Uh, it was great. It was awesome. I had a lot of fun. I maxed out to level 8 pretty quickly because I was no lifing it pretty hard. Uh, the game's amazing. Um, it's like Borderlands and Halo put together. I heard somebody else say that. That was in my own, uh, you know, concoction. Uh, but it, but that's true. That's exactly what the game is. It's uh, Halo and Borderlands put together. And it's a excellent combination. It was amazing. I'm going to be getting the game without about it. Uh, I will not pre-order the game. As you guys know, I am not it for that, and I hope you guys aren't too. Uh, I still hate Activision. They're still a completely garbage, terrible company. If I had my way, they would be out of business. <laughs> um, but uh, they they struck gold. Um, man, we need, we, need more, we need more publishers. It's like three publishers. Oh, God, I hate it. That's, you know, anyway. Um, but uh, the game looks amazing. I'm, I'm definitely going to be getting it. So you guys will be seeing that on my channel, uh, as well as, uh, uh, what's it called, I haven't forgotten, I will be uploading more, um, and I will be uploading more, uh, what's it called, not more, I, I haven't done any yet, I'll be uploading some uh, Gotham Imposters, because I've been having a lot of fun in that game, I hope people keep playing it so I can keep getting matches, uh, and I hope to get some better at it, because <laughs> that's the reason why I don't do as well as I could the majority of the time. Um, but uh, I actually want to talk to you guys about video games today. I've been seeing a lot of crazy stories in the news, and uh, I'm pretty sure most of you don't keep up with real news. <laughs> Mostly because you guys don't have ag well, you guys don't know where to get some real news. Uh, CNN and Fox News is, is trash, it's garbage. They will not inform you of uh, relevant things that you need to know, and if, and if somehow they, they do, uh, they will spit it to where it's basically trash, and you are better off not hearing it. Um, but, um, that's just my opinion. <laughs> Maybe, you know, if you guys like those guys, I mean, go ahead, but they have a pretty bad track record. Anyway, so let's get into it. Uh, the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, is the ongoing, uh, 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 ongoing struggle between, well, the ongoing massacre, uh, in the Gaza. Um, if you guys, I'm sure you guys already heard about it, pa Palestine, Palestine. Uh, the country is uh, being pretty beat down by Israel right now. Again, I think it's their third or fourth uh, conflict. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's bad, man. It's really bad. Uh, majority of the uh, of the people killed are civilians, which is usually the case. Uh, it's and it's just a testament to the failure of humanity. That's really exactly what it is. Um, I think a thousand Palestinians have died uh, so far. I think it's hit a thousand. Um, majority of them are women and children. Um, there's been a lot of reports of, of, of children being, from what it looks like, targeted um, by Israel, um, which is no laughing thing. That's that's a very sad thing to hear. Um, it's unconfirmed, but there's a lot, a lot of children being killed, women being killed, a lot of civilians are being destroyed in this. In this in this massacre, man, and, and it's really bad. But you know, I, I don't want you guys to think that you know it's it, it, it just in Israel in general hates uh, the people of Palestine. That's not the case. There are thousands of Israelis that are trying to to get their government to stop this massacre. But of course, governments run away and do whatever they want. Um, it's, not, it's not to say that there are there are not people in, um, who you know support this kind of thing. But you, you're gonna have crazies everywhere in in anything. Uh, so unfortunately, um, the conflict is still going on. As far as I know, uh, hopefully it stops soon. But 
like I said, guys, this is just it's it's terrible, man. And it, it doesn't it doesn't speak to the to the virtues of humanity at all. And it's just sad to see, you know, this level of disregard for another human being. But there it is, and we've done it before. We, sadly, it probably will happen again. But um, I, you know, I suggest that you guys definitely, if, if there's anything going on where people are protesting, you guys join it. If you can email anybody, you know, your senator or whatever. It doesn't do much to email and vote these now nowadays, uh, unfortunately. But anything helps, man. This needs to stop. You know, it needs to stop. Life is precious, and and it shouldn't be just trodden down like it is now. No matter who it is, if it's Palestinians, if it's Americans, if it's the French, if it's people of Africa, life is too precious, man. And and we should treat it as that. Um, but moving on, we got some more bad news. <laughs> This one, this one's coming out of China. Um, a, a pretty big food manufacturer. As you guys know, everything comes from China nowadays, but also your food. A lot of fast food chains get their. Um, can we still call it meat? Can we? Can we? Is that? Is that? I'm checking with my my producers. Is it meat? Is that? Is, well, they get their stuff that they feed you guys that you guys buy. Uh, I don't eat fast food anymore. I've, I've given up on it. <laughs> I saw that pink paste. Look like Majin Buu's dick that we're turning out to us. Uh-uh, I'm good. So, um, but the, some, it's some very, some very, uh, it more enlightening news came uh, out of China. There was a pretty big news story done about how they handle the uh, quote-unquote food uh, that's um, that's being uh, uh, sold to a lot of fast food chains. Um, one thing, one thing that they saw being done was uh, they had meat that was just sitting out um, that went bad. I didn't throw it away. What they did was they mixed it in with the good meat, quote unquote meat, and they shipped it off to the various chains that purchased their garbage. Um, even worse than that, they had a couple of documented cases where they would find meats around, uh, I guess during transport or during the process that they uh, that they were doing to, to make the the, the uh, to package the meat or whatever. Meat would just you know go places or whatever behind machines in between things just it would just end up places which happens um but instead of throwing that meat away they would just pick it up and use it they were not throwing away enough meat <laughs> enough of that margin blue flesh that they called meat and it's pretty disturbing um you know china's not known for their uh <laughs> For, for, for really respecting uh, health codes over there, but this is just it, it, more bad news. Um, it, it was called Hushi or, or Husi. That was the name of the manufacturing company, and they supply to McDonald's, uh, KFC, Pizza Hut, and others. Uh, but those are the three that I remember. It's disgusting, and I really. If you guys are still eating fast food for whatever reason, stop. Don't eat that garbage. Don't eat it. it it's it's trash. As as, as as I just told you guys, it's garbage. It's bad for you. And they don't care what they give you. As long as you pay them, they do not care. Don't buy that garbage. You know, eat something. Go, 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 go cook something and, and carry it around with you the whole day. Don't eat fast food because it is poison. <laughs> or margin boo flesh. I, I, don't eat that garbage. Um, <laughs> moving on. We got some news out of Russia. Uh, man, it, 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 like... I know you guys probably, you know, think it's cool to just stay within the bubble of YouTube and video games, but there's a lot of stuff happening in the world that affects you, whether or not you know about it. So, in my opinion, it, it only makes sense that you know about it and maybe do something, you know. Change only comes from us, the people. It's not going to come from governments. It's not going to come from the corporations that run the governments. So, the more we know, the better we can get a handle on things. Um, and uh, so, <laughs> keep that in mind about this next story. Uh, Russia has left, not has left, but is talking about leaving the treaty that was made about nuclear war, uh, about nuclear weapons after the Cold War. If you don't know, the Cold War was a really bad time where it looked like nuclear war was imminent between Russia, imminent between Russia and America, and it would have been a disaster. Nuclear nuclear weapons in general are just totally ridiculous. It's it's like these people, the people, are the countries that have these, including America, think that you know. If you bomb Russia, it, it's going to have an effect here. It's not just bomb Russia and everything's okay and everything's fine. It's not just bomb America and Russia's fine. Like, it's one planet. If it breaks, it breaks for all of us. We're, we can't run to Mars or wherever and escape nuclear fallout. It, 
But anyway, so that's a pretty big deal. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not all, oh, bad Russia, because Russia's being surrounded by American bases, you know. We've, we've overthrown so many, so many countries and put bases in so many places. It's really hard to just be like, oh, bad Russia, when, when you see this American empire just that we can't afford and that's costing us family members and, and lives just being expanded and covering everywhere. It, it looks bad and it's hard to defend. But nuclear war, the, the possibility of that is, is, is frightening beyond measure. Um, but uh, I'm sorry that the stories were just so, you know, kind of negative, but that's what's going on right now, and it's important you guys know about it, man. But like I said, on a lighter note, I will be uploading some Destiny, some Gotham Imposters, some really entertaining stuff. Uh, you know, I just saw these things, uh, and they were on my conscience, and I just want to kind of talk about it. But uh, let me know what you guys think about these things, man. Uh, about Russia, about, you know, nasty freaking <laughs> food practices out of China. And uh, what was the first one I talked about? The first one I talked about. Whatever that was. <laughs> I can't remember right now. But anyway, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you think about it. Comment section down below. Hit me up for any questions or anything. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Your boy God Hand is out.